Hello, and welcome to V Rising 1.0, all right? Probably. This is going to be a little bit of a post commentary. I would have recorded this during the whole entire fight, but I needed to concentrate, and this is, uh. Adam was an interesting fight. Uh, early access during the Blue Mount review, or uh, release, and, uh. Yeah, he, he's still the same old Adam. I'm not entirely too sure why people seem to think he's changed or he's difficult or anything like that. He, he's still the same Adam. Uh, the only significant difference when I can notice uh, here on Brutal Mode, in case you haven't noticed, you can tell the eye level or gear score difference since 91, 89. Um, there's red lightning bolts, and when the generators come online, they have a brief shield. That's it. That's the, the only thing I've noticed when it comes to these, uh, to the brutal difficulty settings. Um, other than that, he's still the same Adam. Still, still easy. Well, not easy, but you know, um, after a while, fighting him and stuff like that, you have a much more reserved understanding of time to beat this guy. The, the real um, significant uh, importance here when it comes to fighting him is. Uh, taking out those uh, generators. Of course, they're going to come right back online, so it's not really a big deal. But um, but having just plenty of room to maneuver is a big, big deal. So that's 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 something you want to do. You want to make sure you can find time to do so. But there's going to be plenty of openings, without a doubt. So yeah, don't do that. I did right there where I hate that. That was such an unpredictable move, and I was just like, oh shit. I should have known that because he's done that before. But yeah. Uh, <coughs> Pardon me. So sick. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is Adam does the little slash attack three times and then he'll do a grab move and then afterwards, uh, depending on how many times you are, uh, how close you are, he'll do that three times. Um, but if you space out the whole entire thing, like, if you maintain a good distance away from him, then yeah, he'll probably do a slash attack and then follow up by a grab attack and then, you know, just does all sorts of different things. So I try to keep as close as I can to him, as much as I possibly can. And then, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's really just it. There's, there's not really much to it. Uh, one thing that I try to do 100% of the time is stay as close to him as I possibly can because if you get some distance, again, he will charge at you and stab you. And that does a shitload of damage. That move right there also does a shitload of damage. Um, the only thing that I really have to worry too much about is the grab attack. That's it. And if you have a dash or if you have the pistol just E ability, then it should be easy to completely, you know at least dodge the attack, but again, countering does not actually prevent the grab. Um, I do show my gear at the end, but I'll go ahead and give you a little bit of an idea of what I'm using. I think I am wearing the Grim set for the torso and the legs, and I believe the boots and gloves is what I'm wearing for Dracula gear, so I, I kind of think you need that gear. I don't think you can do it any better than that, or... or <clears throat> well, you could use boot left. Uh, the problem is it's a little bit difficult to try because just brutal difficulties just not fucking around, I'll tell you that much. But uh, yeah, the uh, first phase is relatively simple. It's the second phase I think it's actually, oh well, first phase is, I think is a little hectic. It's the second phase I think that's a little bit, um, second phase is, I think is a little bit easier than afterwards just like, oh wait, what was I thinking? So. Uh, <laughs> I did try this with Warrior Blood, and unfortunately, I I needed speed. I needed a lot of speed. I think some of the abilities do actually get faster. Um, oh yeah, that's faster. Never mind. That's totally faster. That's early access, dude. Holy shit. Uh, but um, speed was definitely a uh, factor here, and that's that's important. Uh, this character is mostly all about blood, blood only, blood only playthrough. Unfortunately, that that playthrough uh, kind of was a little bit hampered thanks to Solaris being an absolute piece of shit, so I had to use a uh, frost shield. But other than that, I'm using mostly, if not F all anything, blood only abilities. I am um, I only have passive skills in the blood tree. I have level 4 gear into the uh, spells, and the blood only uh, 
amulet and a blood only uh, weapon, which is the pistols. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> I can honestly say this is um, not hard to do. It just gives me a little bit much more. Um, I don't know. It, it, it's 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 fun to play a theme character. I think so. So yeah. One thing to take note about this ability right here, where he does a little slash slash, uh, I would highly recommend not countering it. It's um, not worth it, because you'll end up just burning through double dashes. I would hold on to your counter, just in case he does the uh, intertwining lightning bolt move, where it's ranged, so that way you can get rid of that, because I think that stunts. This move right here, where he does the AoE ability, jumps into the air, you can either dash it or you can use the pistol's E ability and you can completely, you know, set yourself up for a really good ability or a really good counter with the pistol's E, especially with the explosive shot. Um, as you can see, I did counter and then I had to use a dash to get out of the way because, yeah, danger. Do with that. But, um,. Rogue Blood is what I felt like it was actually better with this sort of thing simply because I needed the travel time to be a lot more quicker like that and be ready for me to actually use it. Um, the weapon I believe has movement speed plus maxed out cooldown rate and speed firing. But you'll see here in a few seconds. It's, it's, uh... Yeah, Adam's still Adam. Even from early, ac early access. But... To me personally, I think he's a little bit easier, and that reason to say that because I um, I had double HP and I think a little bit of increase in um, uh, attack on my personal server. But uh, playing on uh, playing stunlock server, playing stunlock rules with brutal mode. So yeah, it's Adam. Um, key here, I would say, is movement speed and definitely have a weapon with a. Uh, with uh, evasion, I'm collecting stuff, don't worry. <laughs> I'm getting around to show you stuff. <clears throat> but as you can see, um, Grim Knight gear, the legs, uh, Grim boots and gloves, and level three cloak, found that one. Uh, amulet, there's all the stats. Uh, unfortunately, when I was looking at the buffs, I realized I didn't pop the witch's brew, so that probably could have actually helped. Uh, sanguine coil is basically used to take out the ranged and regenerate HP, or just take out the generators and get HP. But uh, yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't really feel it was like gonna really do much for me. There's all the stats. Yeah, healing receive. I think, man, healing receive would have actually been really nice. Uh, weapon skill, which is pretty good. Uh, you see the weapon itself. Movement speed is practically almost perfect. This whole entire roll was almost perfect. It's so good. So, so good. <coughs> Pardon. You can see the uh, skill setup. Hunger for blood. Blood spray. Not really useful here. Sanguine mastery. Useful here. Uh, so you can see sanguine coil. Uh, having maximum charge, in my opinion, and bouncing charge is really, really good. Uh, Veil of blood. I'm still working on trying to get a better jewel. It's Roll source rolls, man. Uh, Blood right. It's probably the best roll I could have gotten so far. You can see the other tabs do not have any passes whatsoever for playthrough theme reasons. And you see here I'm gear skill or level 89. Adam is level 91. I want to say he's supposed to be three levels higher than me, but I'm not entirely too sure. I know for a fact Dracula is three more levels than me. It's, it's going to be a fucking nightmare. I am using cosmetics, uh, just really just the, the gear, so I can play and see. There's no stats to really be gained from it. But yeah, that's that's it. That's really just it. Only thing I can say is uh, use a weapon with evasion and speed totally help you out best of luck